on that. Okay. Uh, oh, regardless. We'll get on it. There we go. Trolls is in the mix here. Well, Larry Banks, baby bay. Three for one. The exchange and face fine all over the B site quickly. What do you know? Baby Bay moves past with a jet into a site. Color? Game. No, no one's surprised. Take now on the way. Reality. Kind of isolate. That's the player in the corner. It's not pulling the trigger last fully. Finally gets the headshot. We get straight into Polly last one. Oh, actually able to delete the turret at range, which is decent news. 1v2. Gravity well comes out. Nobody peeking for now. Just pulling from the defusal and their shot up around the flank. No problems. Be real quick. New phase clan Ross, not reality this time around. The back defensively for Carpe Noctum, so maybe a chance to contest, although the blades are up for Baby Bay. And Larry Banks, Bucky is in prime position here. Although Trules is getting a bit of a diffuse off, cut short from getting it halfway. And for Pauly and Co., it's now a 2v4, and the flank is not successful. Pauly on 21 HP, going to be denied by a shot up, and phase clan off to a E. One more to clear garage, and that will be enough for Phase Clan to start flooding forward. And as they do, Jay cannot hold up. So now Pauly trying to respond with the Hunters to plant. And for the retake, it's just down. This is going to be a tough one. Larry Banks took a great angle here by the double stack position. Dicey will pounce on that as well. And that is all she wrote in pretty much the blink of an eye. The kill with TLC and such. All right, so this is a 1v question mark situation for him. Nice shot mark, <laughs> though, defensively to come through. His poly actually will chip away some damage, but still for phase, you get the plant, and now you get your setup. Yes, you do. J13 and try to drop the Cossack Divide to try to cut all sewers and long and give them some chances, but not reality. Unable to land the mark there. Baby Bay stays in now sanctuary under heaven. Not reality tries to drop down, and Baby Bay says, nah, I won't be having any of that. And that pretty much puts this one to an end. It's kind of going through and just seeing like who was part of it and, and when I you saw Dicey and shot a wrench and faces plan early with the push But Dicey with the double it's the better end of that extreme only had what two full buy rounds so far And your call is a dear day so spike will be applied. No problem. Yes seekers use a utility They had the Astro stars being put into play Good trailblazer oh, though there from Dicey. Oh my goodness. Well, four for Dicey in the round, pretty much guarantees it, unless Pauly's got something up our sleeves, which would mean you got to get through both of those Nano Swarms. You also have Fly, who's got a Hunter's Fury, just in case he needs to play clutch-up position from Long A. One more Nano God Swarm goodness. will continue to push Pauly off, and then Larry says, well, <laughs> I know exactly. I do have the one all from tools. But I mean, oh boy. Okay. it's just, FaZe is winning these exchanges two for one so early, almost every round. It's in the first five seconds of the round. Yeah, Gus. exactly. It's like, you don't get it. <laughs> slowing down just with what abilities you have. You've got a good composition to potentially slow some of this up. It's just every time they're taking these aggressive angles, they're not coming yeah. away even one for one. I mean, I respect wanting to be dynamic and wanting to be proactive, yeah. especially on a map like Haven where with the three slides, with how large it is, with how long rotates can be, you kind of have to try to, you know, the name of the game used to be just like Life Ray Lobby Control. That was like the big one, but we're seeing teams try to vary it up a little bit, and Pauly's trying to still salvage this round into one versus two, but well, just a Sheriff and already some HP team shaved away. They have great positioning here at the high-low stack. A corner to peak, and you see exactly why. Tags Baby Bay, but does not finish the elimination as the Cosmic Divide will give full freedom here for FaZe Clan to work on in. But with the Shock Darts coming up, plus the Flash, now you've actually got a quick contest. Carpe Noctum, they're trying to deny the spike from being planted in the first place. Seven seconds left from the clock. Baby Bay down low. 2v2, and now Shot Up comes out. you got to find the kill. It's just Pauly. Can he find the 1v2? No. Shot Up oh able to get the elimination. 10-0 into round 11. Aggression coming up. Baby Bay doesn't actually get into the crowd burst. Fly there for a response using the Hunter's Fury to secure one eliminate. Not done with this site as Larry still holds towards the garage and the spike at first time was thick point. They still have time to fall back if they so choose. But may not get the chance with that one. That's all she wrote. Okay, so you can see a little bit of a scramble here. We're towards A main dueling utility out there, but Baby Bay comes out on top of e, Larry Banks and Co. But he does escape. Not all the way. Banks catches them from sewers, and now they have to retake three versus five. It's like one of the Seekers was still chasing down Poppin' on the Reina through mid-map. There was never an exit for Truly because you know exactly where the reinforcements are coming from and it's just a free site and yeah. you kind of wonder about 
Polly just staying there for as long as he did. Uh, now the gravity well. Yes. Shot up will reap the reward of a double, and Baby Bay will... For reality, very powerful ability to have in this round situation. I see and Co. combine for some damage, but not a frag. Trules will be the one doing that. As if Polly tries to commit through this, the timing could be good for Isolator 1v1. He gets it versus Sova counterpart, but the shots do not land largely for either of the Sova players. Drools, though, in the same moment, is able to sneak on into C with some support, and that will allow the spike to be planted. The big question here is our OBS team very accurately moves over to Dicey's no. POV. He could foil this post-plant setup, but the kill doesn't come through. And now Carpe and Nachim are aware of the threat. It's just down to can the shots with these pistols come through. A little bit of body blocking here from Fly, but the problem is now both players are stuck into the gravity well. Headhunter out for reality. Not quite finding any connections. Hold on a second. Phase are actually pushing forward. They're zoning off this oh post my. plan, and the ghosts wake up. Take the point. I thought they had some hope when Dicey missed the catch on Polly that maybe they could hold that post plan, but not to be phase up 12-1. Power by knock them, no choice but to. New UI, it's a very easy look at it. And oh boy, oh Aldrone, phase with the Bucky. I'm gonna use that nicely. Shock Dart. Oh, you thought for a second it may chip some damage. The second one will land a little bit closer, but Trolls, no! Oh, Not like no. that! Spike planted. Oh. That's tough. You know Trolls backwards is slurred. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> out here giving you facts. Where maybe they were just kind of the one on looking at all. Hoppin though gets a big entry here onto B site as they do make that under two press as well as through long B. There is a quick flank in play, sure, but not gonna get there fast enough to stop this plant. It's gonna be all about the retake now. And I'm tracking back to where this flank is actually unfolding, but the problem is Larry collects two. Hoppin round mid, opposite side of the wall is Baby Bay. No updraft, he has to either knife or wait for this wall to fade away, and Hoppin now knows this. A nice little 1v1 oh here, boy. and Baby still wins it! Even though Hoppin had the jump on him, now fly oh from boy. behind, that'll be enough to start to stick for the defuse. Halfway done, Trolls gotta get here, gotta get here, the right click's good. Now up to Gross comes this follow-up, there's the second, but Baby Bay at range. No problem to make sure the 1v3 doesn't come true, and with Drools up the ladder, not be scouted, but Bam can really break it. We see Reality trying to come up through middle flank, but oh, I thought he was gonna get caught, but Fly actually gets silenced there. Uh, I believe that's the head. Is starting to put a little bit of pressure, but Baby Bay seems ready for this. Stay down. Sure is. Gun here. I mean, with the low HP, it would have taken an, an amazing headhunter shot to get the second. Wall still comes up. Spike is in the hands of Trules. We'll stick for the plant. Wall gets broken. Dicey remaining. uses that as a chance to find the free kills. Trules is not allowed to escape and then hop in. A little bit of miss with with the poison. Meanwhile, oh boy. Oh. And on the face clan zipline tour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, plays out. Chamber's not here. The reality is on the other side of the map. So technically speaking, this is 4v4 for the retake. Emperor's popped. Baby Bay first blood, Hoppin holding on to yellow with all of his might. Curving the cloud burst. Larry not moving forward, using that as a chance to potentially get halfway through, but the resurrection comes out and Trules uses that as a little bit of a bait. Four for Trules! This is a tough pull in the bracket for anybody. But you're still hoping that this you team can't can have this something. Yeah. This can't happen. And this has yeah. happened so many rounds where FaZe just walk up long B for free. They either get a kill or they get the intel and they are able to more freely rotate towards middle and A. The only time that Carpe Noctum was able to stop that was last round, but it cost them two alts to do it. Yeah, absolutely. Hold against all these FaZe Clan members. The good news is maybe you've got an angle here from Hoppin, but no. It's actually Baby Bay who just peels off the hairline of Hoppin and Dicey finishes Trules. Yeah, they have got to start spinning that owl drone out. Low orb, that actually pins a player back, even with the wall. But, that said, Hoppin still makes his way. But it is, there are still members that could deal with this, including Dicey, who's got himself an Empress. J for one. Immediately the trade comes out, that'll take care of the Viper's Pit! And now Baby Bay with knives. A chance to do the 2v2. The Fuse still needed, a Viper's Pit of their own. And Carpe Noctum are gonna fall back and try to swoop around the side. Polly catches one. That will make safe and delude away this Viper's Pit, leaving Baby Bay by himself. Recon Bolt, of course, revealing his location. Wall in between him and the Sage, but largely 
Maybe they focused on where Pauly has gone, and he's lost him completely, although it may not make much of a difference. Time now, a bit of a problem. Up top, the updraft not going to work. The quick scope also not going to connect, and now Time may be the bigger opponent of the two between him and Jules. Yeah, definitely seems to try to get out of there and save that operator if he can. Seems like he should be able to get far enough away. As Aldrone will scout this, and there is defensive pressure here for FaZe. Oh, boy. They're oh, caught. baby. They're caught. Come down the shot up here at yellow. He's still in this fight. And he does. Now he can focus and help out at mid. Oh, look at the focus. All of FaZe blue arrows turned their attention to mid. Drill still wins the first. Nate White comes out. Counter slow or been play. Jake tallies the second. Shot up in a little bit of trouble, but it's going to be allowed to live here. And now Bebe is here to help. Thought for a second that it was going to be an easy isolation, but not the case whatsoever. In reality, I'm winning. Oh, now he's starting to call for rotations, though. So now he's got a couple teammates in place. Oh, my. Empress taken away. The res comes through, but the defense is now here. Also, it's starting to play in the flank. A couple of trades are... Solid for oh, Carpe, no. and then a little bit of a miss from Dice. But miss Changed his focus escape. just before he could connect, and we get in. Especially if Shadow can connect with that Phantom. A lot of sound there from Trules' point of view, but he expects Shadow to come from behind. So now Baby Bay from the front, Shadow from the back. Polly still trying to hold tight corner. No, no. Shadow still gets the kill. Now down to Trules, and you can just feel the frantic nature. Not sure what to look at. Shot up will take three in the round, and FaZe Clan will push to nine. Yeah. Shot up is still in a position to potentially just use their own utility. Baby Bay to the knives. Golly. It's just... Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh, God. Oh, boy. Stop. Please stop. I feel like... I don't know, I'm trying to think of it. I feel like I'm, like, a part of this bystander effect while I'm just watching this horrific... You know, the terrifying nature that came with FaZe Clan last year could definitely still be in the cards this year. Hop in, looking to deny this early play. Find one, and then over the top, trolls, nope. no. No. FaZe is not looking back here. It's a spike will go down. Here, one enemy remains. Oh, boy. Yeah. Screen here and getting deep into a site right now. We'll just get the kill on the shot out. Spike is going to go down. Baby Bay watching for this flank, which is definitely coming. Plenty yes, up. it is. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, here we go. Pinstripe kill feed. Numbers good for the defense 3v2. 2v2. Oh. <laughs> and now it's down fly. Okay, hop in for three. Able to dismiss away. Shots to the left. Trules able to counter out. Dicey's faces ultimate plays yet. So. Okay. Opening exchange. Uh oh. Okay. This is all right. One for one. All the way through. Hop in. Turns this to a three v. Hop in even more cover. Is gonna catch Larry Banks off guard. Blind sides. And now it's only Flya. Drone goes by him. He might catch Polly off guard. Indeed, gets that frag, but still has to worry about hopping. Oh, oh, finds my. that as well. I think thinks that there could be over towards A or mid. Does he check underneath here? Because this is exactly where uh, Jay is. Have a full fledged buy into that one, and now they will. And again, they have now f all, all the alts, alts. Yeah. all the alts. <laughs> that that is scary. A couple of alts available for Carpenatum. They do have the Viper's Pit to maybe block off one side a little bit more comfortably. Usually, it's used on A alts at their disposal. They're getting flanked again. It's kind of deja vu from the previous round, yeah. if we're honest. We'll see if they can handle it better. Empress is out. Oh, this could be so big. They peek with that Leer. But that's a great 4-4 four four shot from reality. But it's quickly <laughs> traded, and now they are a man behind. And they know on face side that that Viper is still at A. But now this is Pauly. But will he be allowed to? Spike gets planted over the top of the second Hunter's Fury. Meanwhile, same breath. Oh, no. Shot up finds the 1v1 on the opposite side of the map. So now if you're Paul, you've got to go and got to go quickly. You know you've tagged up Baby Bay once, but where is he hiding? Doesn't quite guess correctly. Shock dart long. Ah, Paul, he thinks he's rotated back over towards the...